Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Unrefined. This month, we're coming into summer, it's exciting times, people want to get out there, have a few beers, and I've stopped by Modus Operandi. We're going to hit some beers, check out the craft scene, talk to the guys that run this joint, and learn a little bit more about what it means to have craft beer, and what sort of food we should be eating with our craft beer. So, let's go check it out, come on. Beer heaven. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're um we've snuck straight back behind the scenes. Well not really behind the scenes, we're at the front of the house here. Front of the house, mate. And I'm with Grant, the owner of Modus Operandi. Yeah. How good is this place? Oh mate, I, I think it's pretty good, yeah. Handcrafted, that's what I like to hear. And love. That's what drinking and eating is all about. Sharing the love, getting together, bringing people together around the table with a few beers, a little bit of food. The good music doesn't get any better. Absolutely, that's what we're here to do. That's what we're here to do. Where should we start? What, what's, I guess, what's your signature? What's your, what's your favourite beer here? Oh, I guess, I guess our signature and probably one of my favourites is our former tenant, Red IPA, which we, uh, which we took out Champion Australian Craft Beer for. Awesome. Um, the Aussie Craft Beer Awards. That's former it. tenant. That sounds like a bit of a weird name. Well, that, there's a story to the former tenant, and the, the former tenant here was also into handcrafting stuff, but it was illegal. So, uh, right. so we, we named our most aromatic uh, beer after the former tenant, whose uh, oh, right, his, so his luck ran out and he now lives in Goulburn. Okay, right, so he's growing things under lights, was he? Correct. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing, you know, you, you think about, uh, I guess, your hops, they have that very similar aromatic smell to marijuana. Yeah, well, Same the, family? the first first cousin. Yeah, yeah. first cousin, first yeah. Cousin. First cousin. Beautiful. Yeah. That's your breed. Oh, that's smooth. Yeah. It's so creamy on the yeah. head, hey? Yeah. So we use a beer gas to mix it in. It's like a milkshake on your lips, but it tastes like beer. That's awesome. That's really good. Yeah. Wow. It's really it. tropical. <laughs> you need to try this. <laughs> it is, hey? Yeah. Big tropical aroma, like caramel, slightly sweet toffee body. Um, just really well balanced. Beer matches so well with a range of different foods from yeah. you know your classic pub grub to fine dining to Absolutely. You know, anything you're eating. Absolutely. I mean we do a tasting paddle here and we can match that with seven different size little you know courses like yeah. it's really versatile so cool. yeah it's um it's a, it's a new oh, wine. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm DJ, the head brewer here at Modus Operandi. I'm going to give you a quick run through about how we make our beer. So it all starts with uh, two row barley. We're going to take that two row barley, we're going to crush it up, add hot water to it, extract all of the sugars and color out of that grain. We're going to take it over to our uh, brew kettle. We're going to boil that barley, that liquid barley. We're going to add our hops to it at this point. Hops are kind of what make beer cool. They're going to give it the citrusy, kind of bitter flavor. Um, yeah, hops are really kind of what enhances the flavor of any beer. After, after we go through the boiling process, we're going to add our last ingredient. This is when it gets fun. We add yeast to it. Yeast ferment out the, the malt sugar and makes alcohol. So that's when our beer is uh, ready to go in the glass and the drink. Cheers. Oh yeah. There it is. That's the beer food we're talking about, hey? It is. So what we've got here is our Mo Burger. We've got um, beef brisket, slow cooked beef brisket patty, um, smoky bacon, American cheddar, cos lettuce, and our very special homemade mustard mayo oh. on a milk bun. Yum. Look at that, you guys. Oh, it's juicy, mother. That's what I love. Can you see that? Far out. Get neck deep. That's a proper burger. That's one of the best burgers I've had. I hope you didn't want any burger, Grant. I've had one or two before. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't have beer. No chicken wings. These, yeah, wings. these are our sriracha hot wings. Uh, not overly hot, but full of flavour. Really? Look at that. Delicious. I'm gonna yeah, I get you. I'm getting right into that. Yes. Oh. That's a sign of a good win, straight off the bone. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. Feel me? Oh yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. What's this one? So here we have our Mo pizza. 
Um, you got garlic prawns, mushrooms, um, tomatoes, salami, fresh olives, and uh, a few little uh, additional secrets. A bit of everything on there, hey? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's all in the base. Yum. Well, there we have it, guys. Another episode of Unrefined. Out here tasting some incredible beers, eating some of the best food I've had. That burger was off the hook. So if you're a local, live on the northern beaches or in Sydney, make sure you get over and check it out. If you people are overseas, I'm sorry. You'll just have to come to Australia and check it out. Grant, thanks, Aiden. Thank you so much. It's been unreal. If you want to check out all the links down below, check it out. We'll put all the social details, website, you have a bit of a better look. Make sure you tune in next month for another episode of Unrefined. Yo!